Okay, so this is your host, Dan Stafford with Midwestern Geek and Cali, and I'm going to do a fairly brief one today, but I want to talk about a new uh, thing to help with privacy and speed up your internet that um, I read about on CNET.com, and you can see up here. And it's a new service uh, being done by Cloudflare, which is a pretty big, reputable internet company. And basically, it's to uh, make it more difficult for your ISP to track what websites you're visiting, ISP being your internet service provider. So I'm going to walk you how to, through, how to set it Okay, in Windows 10. Um, the process is very similar in other versions of Windows as well. It's probably quite a bit different in Linux, but um, the basically the same thing applies. And uh, basically what it's going to do is it's going to set your DNS or domain name service provider to Cloudflare. And I'm going to set the backup uh, provider to Google Public uh, because Google may track website visits, but it anonymizes the data. In other words, it doesn't uh, show who it was. They just show what website got visited and uh, use that for their statistics and search. So what we're going to do, um, we're going to go down to the network connection. And this is my Wi-Fi connection here. If it were a cabled connection, it would be a little square terminal looking icon, but it's right down here in the system tray at the lower right hand corner of the screen at the right end of the taskbar. And I'm going to right click on the internet connection, open network and sharing center. And I'm going to go on change connection properties and I'm going to edit ah, they have changed this a little bit It definitely changes around. Okay, so I'm gonna to need to go into Windows Control Panel. So I'm gonna type Control Panel. And I like to view by large icons because it's easier to see everything. And I'm going to go into the network and sharing center from here. Let's see how badly they mess things up. All right, good. This is what I was looking for. So I'm going to go over to the upper right in the control panel version of network and sharing center and change adapter settings and right click on my Wi Fi and left click on properties now here you want to uh, select internet protocol version 4 tcp ip v4 and then click properties and i'm going to change the dns server here from use uh, obtain dns server address automatically to use the following DNS server address, addresses, and I'm going to type one period one period one period one, and that's Cloudflare Flare for the primary, and then Google is eight dot eight dot eight dot eight, and as a backup, so. As long as Cloudflare works, we're going to use them. They don't track any data at all. And if Cloudflare is down for some reason, we're going to use Google. And then I'm going to go ahead and close that. And I'll close out 
Network and Sharing Center, close out control panel. And now I'm going to run a command prompt. So I'm going to type CMD for command prompt. Left click there. And I'm going to ping 1.1.1.1. It may not respond. They may have it uh, set to shut down. Or it's gotten very busy because they're doing this now. So let's try pinging google.com. Okay, and let's just take a quick look. There's a space between the for, uh, IP config and forward slash all. And none of that really matters, but the DNS servers are set. You can see there it's set to 1.1.1 and 8.8.8. .8 okay, so there we go it's now set on this machine and now my isp can't track what websites i'm looking up at least so there's another tool called vpn or virtual private network that would encrypt the traffic and make it even harder for the internet service provider um, to track what you're doing and what you're sending and receiving and the thing is, is that Congress very recently made it legal for your internet service provider to sell your data to third parties without your consent. Um, so here you go. This is one thing you can do to make it harder for them to do it. And thank you for listening and happy Vulcan fingers to you from the agent of 42.